Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T, and I hope you guys are doing good. Happy Memorial Day. I am coming on to bless you guys with some videos before I head out to a damn barbecue, okay? So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Drake and Pusha T situation, honey, okay? You guys have been hitting me up. Y'all have been wanting to know my opinion. You guys know I am a big fan of Drake, okay? A fan, not a stan, but I do love me some Drizzy. And so everybody wants to know my opinion about the whole diss track and what went down. So I want to break it down to you guys in case you did not know, okay? So if you don't know, Pusha T, his new album just dropped he initially named it king push but now it's been changed to daytona and so he released a song called infrared so we all go to listen to the song and there was an interesting part in the song where basically he's alluding to drake using quentin miller still as his ghostwriter basically ended up being almost like a drake diss and so when people heard that they were like oh shit you know what i'm saying push your teeth on diss drake so nobody expected anything from drake because usually drake either doesn't respond or he takes forever to respond but all of a sudden honey i guess drake was tired of playing soccer He was like, I ain't got time for this shit. Drake done ran his ass into the studio. When I tell you, he dropped one of the fastest and coldest responses to a diss in history, okay? He came out with this diss track so quick, it was insane. It's like he wanted to make sure he wanted to let you fools know he does not need Quentin Miller to write his music, that his lyrics did it, his personality did it, and that basically he has skills. So I loved his diss track, it's called Duppy. I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys a snippet of Pusha T's diss track, and I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys a snippet of Drake's response to Pusha T. Go ahead and check this out. <laughs>
have time for this. No, I don't. Uh, do you think I don't? Do you think I have time for this? Yes, you have time for this. No, I don't. The nerve, the audacity. <sighs> Drake's ass went in, okay? I'm sorry, but push your tea. You should have just sat there and ate your damn food, okay? You should have just sat there and ate your food because you need to shut the fuck up. Now, you was doing way too much. Keep Drake out of your damn songs. Keep him out of your damn lyrics. You know what I'm saying? You're starting to come off like a bitter hater. Drake went in on his response. You know what I'm saying? So I was really happy to hear Drake get back to the old mixtape Drake. You know what I'm saying? He went hard and I really enjoyed it. I was not expecting that from Champagne Poppy, okay? So anyhow, Nicki Minaj decided to enter interject herself into this whole beef situation she wanted to state her opinion even though you know strangely enough when her boyfriend meat mill was beefing with drake at the time the one who started this entire fucking rumor she was silent but now two years later the queen of barbies has something to say about the entire situation okay i'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what Nicki minaj had to say about drake and pusher t and people accusing him of using a ghostwriter check this out so Nicki Minaj says, niggas gonna run that quitting shit into the fucking ground like Drake don't write for himself and others. Your enemies will remix, reinvent, and try to relive some old shit for two years. Come when they have nothing on you. Knock it off. Challenging the chosen ones, only awaken the sleeping giant. Notice how she says challenging the chosen ones, not the chosen one for Drake. So she's trying to, you know, put herself in there too. So I don't know if that was like, you know, low key shots at Cardi, honey. I don't know. But that's what Nicki Minaj had to say about the whole Drake and Pusha T situation. And this entire situation spun into a bunch of mess that went on this weekend. And I will get into that into the next video. Now on top of Drake dropping Duppy, he also released another song called I'm Upset. It's gonna be on his Scorpion album that's due to be released in June. So this new song is fire as well. Go ahead and listen to this snippet right here. I'm so you guys just heard I'm Upset. So in my personal opinion, if Drake continues to rap like this and have this much heat and fire under under him I'm super excited for his new album I know his new album is gonna be fire because he went in and Duffy and he also went in during this whole I'm upset song so I'm definitely feeling this okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation once again concerning Drizzy Drake basically responding in 2.5 seconds honey to push your tease diss of him basically accusing him of still using Quentin Miller to write his music so whose team are you on are you team Drizzy are you team push your tea and then whose track did you think was better? Did you like Pusha T's track better? Did you like Drake's track? Me personally, y'all already know, honey, I'm riding with Drake. I loved his track. I loved his response. And he basically put a lot of people in their damn place. There's a lot of damn jealousy going on when it comes to damn Drake. And I've been saying this for years, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.